good morning dear students so today we are going to read the chapter the first chapter the portrait of a lady written by kushwan singh okay as we discussed yesterday in this chapter we have two main characters like grandson and grandmother and this chapter also shows the value of relationship changing of relationship and the impact of modernization in our life so these are the things that has been discussed directly or indirectly in this chapter so let's have a look on the text like in the very beginning these are the you know uh, uh, these are the expression that has been used in the chapter wherever they are used they are being bold they are being bold so that to do, just to show some kind of different meaning of particular phrases now my grandmother in the beginning my grandmother whose grandmother kushwan singh grandmother like everybody's grandmother was an old woman if, if she was a grandmother obviously she has to be an old woman she had been old and wrinkled for the 20 years that i had known her means when she, when the grandson was 20 years till then i had known her means her face was wrinkled she was an old and at that time the grandson was 20 years old people said that she had once been young and pretty the grandson heard that people by saying that when she was young she was very pretty had even had a husband she had a husband now she is widow her husband is no more but that was hard to believe nobody can believe that she had a husband because the coolness the beautifulness of her face does not make us believe that she had a husband my grandfather's portrait portrait means picture now she is widow so her husband's picture hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room her husband picture is hanging on the wall on mantelpiece in the drawing room he wore a big turban now here kushwan describes his grandfather he has a big turban and loose fitting clothes get up dressing sense his long white beard he has a long and white beard covered the best part of his chest means the length of the beard has been shown that it covers the best part of his chest and he looked at least 100 years old and if you observe the physical structure and the uh, picture of uh, grandfather nobody can say that he is less than 100 years old he did not look the sort of a person who would have a wife or children if you observe the picture of grandfather nobody can believe that he had a wife and children he looked as if he could only have lots and lots of grandchildren means people simply say he might have grandchildren as for my grandmother being young and pretty see in three four lines kushwan singh had described his grandfather and in the beginning his grandmother and again he comes to grandmother like uh, as for many grandmother being young and pretty the thought was almost revolting what was the thought the thought of her beautifulness that she was young and pretty was revolting she often told us of the games she used to play as a child now grandmother what does she tell us generally our grandmothers in the same way grandmother of kushwan singh also used to tell also tells him that what kind of games she used to play when she was a child that seemed quite absurd and undignified on her part and we treated it like the fables or the prophets she used to tell us fables means stories and prophets means the fortune teller like this one so the the child means grandson hardly believes all the all kind of games that she used to play and she tells right now to the grand son then she had always been short and fat and slightly bent always what short in size like her height is not that much and fat okay healthy and slightly bent because of old age also her back has been bent her face was a criss cross of wrinkles her face was full of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere means it was a 
जिग मीन्स इन ए क्रिस क्रॉस कंप्लीटली रिंकल्ड नो नो वी वर सर्टेन सी हैड ऑलवेज बीन एज वी हैड नो हर नो ऑन हर मीन्स इन वट सिचुएशन द ग्रैंड सन ऑब्जर्व हिज ग्रैंड मदर सी हैड बीन लाइक दिस ओनली ओल्ड सो टेरिबली ओल्ड वेरी वीक दैट सी कुड नॉट हैव ग्रॉन ओल्डर एंड सी हैड स्टेड एट सेम एज फॉर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स द ग्रैंड सन देट ग्रैंड सन ग्रैंड सन मीन्स खुशवंत सिंह सी देट फ्रो सिंस हिज बर्थ he has been observing his grandmother in the same condition of old age same face full of wrinkles and same bent back since 20 years she could never have been pretty but she always she was always beautiful see two words are there beautiful and pretty according to kushwan singh she has no she was not pretty but she was always beautiful she hobbled about the houses in spotless white with the one hand resting on her waist to balance her stoop so when she moves she put one hand on the back to support his body to balance her stoop and the other telling the beads of rosary in other hand what does she have she had she has beads of rosary her silver locks were scattered untidily over her pill silver lock means the hair locking okay on her white untidy hair okay over her pill pill means pale face puckered face obviously uh, the uh, expression of old age and her lips consciously moved in inaudible prayer all the time she does what inaudible prayers like ram 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 by counting the beads of rosary yes she was beautiful definitely it is accepted by the writer kushwan singh she was like the winter landscape in the mountain my dear students you might have observed that during the winter uh, winter time mountains are covered with white snow so her whiteness her beautifulness has been compared to the mountain which we find in the season of winter like an expanse of pure white serenity means complete purity of whiteness as we see in the mountain the same kind of beautifulness or the whiteness or coolness even we can find on the face of grandmother breathing peace and contentment satisfaction peace her face shows peace coolness and satisfaction my grandmother and i were good friends now their relationship of grandmother grandson and apart from that they were good friends okay <laughs> my parents left me means the parents of khushwan singh or the grandson they were left him in the village with her with her with his grandmother when they went to live in the city now parents of khushwan singh they are living in city and we were constantly together means grandmother and khushwan singh she used to wake me up in the morning what is her schedule she wakes uh, she used to wake khushwan singh up in the morning and get me ready for school whatever she whatever he requires for school he makes everything like lunch packing of bags uniform everything she does she said her morning prayers in a monotonous sing song while she bathed and dressed me in the hope that would that that i would listen and get to know it by heart so in the morning she used to recite the prayers in monotonous tone so that this child means grandson could not get to know it by heart i listened was one thing also listened but because because i loved her voice but never bothered to learn it see this is the relationship the grandson likes the sound or the voice of grandmother but never tries to learn what she was reciting then she would fetch my wooden slate which she has already washed and plastered with yellow chalk this is the you know uh all the time when we used to have 
wooden slate not rough notebook like today and with previous night she had already washed it and plastered it real yellow chalk a tiny earth ink pot ink pot and a red pen tie them all in a bundle and hand it to me these are the things that he requires daily to go to school after breakfast of thick stale chapatis with a little butter and sugar spread on it see now what what are we learning now now after getting ready for school and before leaving the house the grandmother used to take some stale chapatis and apply some little butter on them and then some sugar in these stale chapatis to whom he will she will deliver these chapatis to the dogs okay let's see we went to school both of them they are going to school because the grandmother has to uh, has to uh, drop him in the school and after dropping him in the school she will go to temple to listen scriptures or hymns so on the way they are going she carried several stale chapatis with her for the village dogs and on the way she feeds the village dogs stale chapatis applying some uh, applying some butter and sugar so this is the routine that has been covered by uh, grandmother and grandson next one my grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to the temple isn't it dear students as she drops him in the school she goes to the temple the priest taught us here us refer to grandmother and other ladies taught us the alphabets and the morning prayer okay while the children sat in the rows in on either side of the veranda singing the alphabets or the prayer in chorus my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures scripture refer to the religious old religious books okay so here they learn morning prayers some alphabets grandmother also sit in the veranda reading some scriptures when we had both finished when both of them they had finished their work like uh, learning in the schools and reading of the scriptures we would walk back together now again they come back to the house together this time the village dogs would meet us at the temple door they followed us to our home growling and fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them so when they come back the same dogs follow them fighting to each other in uh, getting some chapatis when my parents were com comfortably settled in the city now the writer kusman singh say that when they were settled in the city they sent for us means they call grandmother and grandson that was a turning point this is what is the turning point when in our friendship what was the turning point when the child got a got a message to come to city for his higher studies with his parents that was the turning point although we shared the same room grandmother and grandson they remain in the same room my grandmother no longer came to school with me because now uh, his grandmother does not drop him in the school i used to go to an english school in a motor bus because now the bus school bus comes to take the child to the school and this is an english school but in the village it was a village school as and there was no facility of school bus so dropping to the school by the grandmother was just a memory now there were no dogs in the street in the city there were no dogs and she she took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of her city house so she she had changed from dogs to sparrows because in in city there were no dogs in the street wherever they lived so she has changed her focus from dogs to sparrows earlier she used to feed dogs now she starts feeding the sparrows in the courtyard of the city house then as the uh, as the years rolled by now the time passes we saw less of each other because the boy became busy 
in his studies and both of them they could not give much time to each other that's why we saw each less of each other for some time she continued to wake me up for some days she performs her duty and get me ready for the school when i came back i would ask me she would ask me what the teacher had taught me so sometime uh, the grandmother ask her grandson what you have learned today okay so this is the ending point for today we will continue from there so dear students read out this chapter till here and we will continue with the next portion of this chapter till then take care goodbye